Assalamualaikum everyone. Today we will see how to display the histogram and get to know about the intensity levels of a particular image. So first of all, let me show you the image that I am going to use. And this is in text simple and it looks like that. And you, it is clear from the image that it has three colors, white, dark blue and a light blue in the small dot. So first of all, you need to import the image using the inbuilt method. And here I am going to pass the path of the image, which is obviously on the desktop. After that, I'm going to get its dimensions, which are height, width, and channels using the size method. Why I'm doing that? Because I want you to note that whether it is a grayscale or, or an RGB image, because in an RGB image, there are three channels and each channel has its own intensity. But if we want to know the intensity, whole intensity of the image, we need to convert into the grayscale. If the channels are three, then convert the image into grayscale using the RGB to gray method and passing the image to this method. And if this is the case, then display on the screen that image is converted into grayscale. On the other hand, if the image was already a grayscale image, then display on the console that image was already grayscale. Ending the if else, now I need to display the image to see that how the image looks like. For this, I first will use a figure function. Figure function actually creates a window in the MATLAB to display the graphics, image, etc. And in order to in order to show the image, I will be using imshow method where I will pass the image. Now, in order to display its histogram, I'm going to call the figure method again to create a new window in the MATLAB. In that window, I'm going to display the histogram using the histogram method. Now what I need to do is to know the minimum and maximum gray level in that particular image I'm using. So for this, in order to print the output, I'm using the fprintf method where the string is maximum gray scale level, which is, which I can find using the max method and passing the whole image. That's why I'm using here colon. Colon means all the rows and columns. Using the same function, I'm going to display its minimum grayscale level. Sorry about the spellings. Using the min function. So now, so now here we go. And let's check the results. Okay, there is an error in the if statement because you need to use here the equal operator, double equal sign. Okay, here is an error on this function. It is actually RGB to gray. Image was RGB, thus it is converted into grayscale. So here are the image displays. Displayed the first window, uh, the first window containing the figure, the grayscale image, and the second containing the histogram. So how to read or study this histogram? In the histogram, the X axis represents the value. Okay, the color value, the pixel value representing the color, and the y axis contains number of pixels. So, in this particular histogram, so as we can see, that this bin, bin is actually a, a, a rectangle in a graph representing a range of colors. So, this bin is representing the colors from 252 to 255. Okay, so thus this represents that this range of colors, colors in this range, are present in the image. Are represented is represented by 2 into 10 power 5 pixels it means 2 lakh pixels okay and then 
uh, obvious it's obvious as we can see in the figure as well the most of the area is white thus the bin this bin also represents the white color the white area then comes this one it contains it represents the quite dark color which is represented in the image by the 1 into 10 power 5 pixels and which is obviously this area and then here are some of the pixels which are a bit lighter than this one and these are like these are represented by the pixels almost 0.1 to 10 power 5 pixels in the image which is obviously this circle and yes there is an error in line number 13 is actually a spelling mistake it should be f printer so in this result we, we get to know that the maximum grayscale value in this image is 255 which is white color and the minimum is 36 which is obviously the dark area okay guys i hope the concept is clear to you and you now know how to uh, you know clearly understand how to read the histogram thank you and subscribe my channel